Hey friend, I wanted to record this message because I want to talk about um, pricing and inflation and um, obeying God. And so this is actually good news and not anything bad <laughs> that's about to happen. Um, but I did just feel like this was one of those situations where I wanted to make sure you heard my heart. And so I feel like actually speaking to you instead of typing this out would be the best way of communications. Because I know sometimes if we make changes to pricing in the shop and someone's made a prior purchase, there could be frustration. So just hear me out as I share just kind of like our journey and what's going on and all that kind of stuff. So um, as most of you know, um, my husband left his job um, from working full time. He was the primary breadwinner for our family to begin working with GCP in January. And toward the end of last year, we also had some price increases because everything is increasing. And so we w received price increases because our printer received paper pricing increases. There was a pr paper shortage um, due to COVID and labor shortages and shutdowns and those types of things. And then those are big lag and that kind of stuff, playing catch up. And the paper that we use is not the most popular paper because it's a thicker stock. So it's a little bit harder to come by um, and typically is more expensive for that reason. And so we received some increases on paper. Um, and then we decided that, you know, we really didn't have any margin for not passing those increases along. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, and so the prices you see in the store now reflect those increases. But like on a personal note, we've been looking at our own family budget and just feeling the pinch like everyone else. Our gas price, our gas bill for our family has doubled in the past um, year like everyone's has and because of where we live and things our kids do and stuff it's just been extremely hard to like limit our travel at all and so that's just that much more money that comes out of thin air apparently every month um and then there's also the expenses at the grocery store that has not quite doubled for us um we've definitely started making moves to um process our own chickens and we have dairy goats that we've gotten and we have gotten more chickens for eggs and those types of things so we're doing what we can there we buy in bulk um as much as possible we buy our beef in bulk from um, a fa local farmer so we do as much as we can there but it's still not um exactly cutting cutting the problem out when the pricing increases are as, as significant as they are and it doesn't seem or feel like any of those things are going to change any soon anytime soon um and so as we were just having a conversation about this today we were discussing, you know, obviously we're not the only people that are feeling these types of inflation-related pinches as well. And um, so we were just talking about that and trying to figure out our own family budget and hating how there's more month than there is money and all that kind of stuff. And so later on, I went down to the pond and was just kind of talking to the Lord about um, how really he had laid on our heart, you know, not just how this is affecting us, but the, how this is affecting everyone. And that we are fortunate in that we have um, our more, probably more flexibility in our budget than a lot of families have. And so we haven't been like significantly impacted, even though it is uncomfortable and makes me mad, to be honest. <laughs> and so um, we, you know, just really talked about that. And so I was just praying about that. And I recognized that... Since he came home from his job and this, our financial situation shifted significantly, this business has never been something that I've ever done for a profit before. And while I would always price things where I made sure that there was some type of profit because we have a business to run and we have people to pay and we, you know, we do feel like it's the right thing for us to be compensated for our time, obviously, because we didn't rely on it as our primary income that profit margin wasn't the most important thing to me. Um, and because I never wanted to run a business, it wasn't the most important thing to me. Um, I wanted to write curriculum and I routinely have a total breakdown and cry like this is not, I'm not, I like, I have business sense, but I don't like the pressure of business, of running a business, of supposed, you're supposed to be profitable and, you know, earn a certain amount of money and just making these big decisions about pricing. And I just hate all of that. Um, I mean, I can do it, but it's not, not comfortable for me, which God very well knows that that already. 
And so I would just prefer to be able to write and design and that just be the end of it. But all that to say, um, this is where we are. And so I noticed in my own heart a shift through this year as the mounting discomfort with the pressure that God has on me right now has increased. My mind has focused more on being profitable, which again is something I never thought a lot about before because I didn't have to and I didn't want to. And that's just not my heart in general anyway. And so I wanted to, you know, my heart is that anything that we have is available to anybody that would want it. Um, it's why our preschool and primer and nature teacher to guides are free is because you don't have to have a bundle to use them. You can take them and use them the way that they are without anything beyond that um, and have an amazing educational experience. And so that that kind of like generosity kind of based mentality is the way I have always and do want to always run our business. So as we were making decisions about pre-order sales and all those kinds of things, I found myself making plans a little bit out of fear, right? Like we had our pricing increases because we had to have our pricing increases because of increased in costs. And then we had stopped offering free shipping because... I really was not making any profit at all for like my time at all doing that. And then we had to shift away from offering media mail because it was being so costly with lost and damaged products and stuff with the big bundles. We still offer it with the smaller, lighter packages. Um, and so I just recognized like in my own heart and mind that I was paying a lot more attention to the... Uh, mechanics, the day-to-day -day sales numbers, profits, all that kind of stuff, then I was the overall mission to serve and empower homeschool moms because it was a huge transition for us. Like, I mean, I've definitely worked throughout our marriage before, but he's always been the primary breadwinner. And my income was needed for years and years. And then I stopped homeschooling and God made that possible. And he just worked a miracle and all these types of things. And then like he has been the pr primary breadwinner. So anything that I earned was just like fun money or vacation money or, you know, the extra educational stuff money, like those types of things. It filled in around the edges. And so then all of a sudden there was just this like pressure that I took as like pressure on me because I that's what I do. And really, it's just more pressure for God to do what he does. And so God just spoke to my heart today and said, I am not in the economy of this world. I am in God's economy. And that's not a prosperity gospel kind of thing. Like, it, you know, like hardship and suffering can come to any of us at any time. And that never changes how much God loves us or the provision that he has in our life. And so... I don't say that to say that, like, if I'm generous enough, then nothing, you know, bad will happen. But I do know that, like, he blesses others that are willing to, he blesses us when we're willing to bless others. He refreshes those that will refresh others. And so I kept feeling nagged about our pricing because it increased to what is still really competitive for the products that we offer, but I just want it to be cheaper, I just do. I just want you to get so much for your money. You know what I mean? I, like, I just want when you get it to be like, this is the greatest value I've ever experienced because I just want you guys to be blown away. I want you to love your home education experience. I want you to feel so empowered by it. I want you to feel good about opening it and setting it up and using it day after day after day after day. And I don't want finances to get in the way. And I started this video because my daughter was not riding her dirt bike. And you're about to hear the dirt bike track open up around me. And maybe a goat in the background. Um, and so basically all that to say is we have decided that we're not going to change our pricing. Because we, we, we do know almost without any, like with 100% certainty, that prices are going to continue to increase. So when I did the price increase, I did allow for future price increases. I didn't want to have to constantly be changing my prices. And so we've allowed for future price increases in the current price. But it doesn't have to be priced at what it is right now. Not that it's not worth it and that the value isn't there. But we do have some wiggle room. And I want to make sure 
that we are being as generous as we possibly can be, especially as everyone's planning back to school. They're beginning, you know, not right this moment, but in the next couple of month, weeks, everybody's going to be thinking about, you know, next, it's, we're about to be in July, and then it's going to be August, and then we're going to be starting back to school, and many families are. And so I wanted to make sure that while we still could before those future price increases happen that we would do the most that we can right now so basically all of this to say we're gonna have a sale all the way through the end of july and it's really our anti-inflation sale and it's coming from me recognizing like I don't have to be concerned about profit because I'm the breadwinner. This business is the breadwinner of our family. I don't have to think about that. God can handle that. I just need to focus on how can I serve you guys? How can we serve you guys? And what can we do to better equip and empower you? Because that is the purpose that God put on our heart. So we're, we're going to go through the shop and we're going to put things on sale all the way through the end of July. And they're going to be roughly like 10% off the print stuff, which doesn't seem like the biggest deal in the world. But for something that's $180 that or $170 or whatever, that's a pretty good chunk of money off. So we're going to do that. I'm going to adjust down the other print items and the digital items. And I'm just going to do that. And that's just going to stay through the end of July. And then we'll be making decisions about the future as we go. But I will not be making decisions anymore based on fear of for our own provision, for our own family, and all of that. That will not be what I base my decisions on. It's been a hard six months of adjusting to feeling like things are riding on the general classical press as far as our family's financial concerns are, you know, that's just a big transition. And it's been really, really hard and scary and overwhelming, just being 100% honest. Um, because last year was wonderful and we've had growth year over year and you guys continue to support us and continue to love us and encourage us and share us and that's all amazing. But everything in the world and in the economy is so uncertain right now that it's hard not to feel overwhelmed and a little nervous about the future. But we lived on a commission only income for most of our marriage except for the last like seven years. And so it's just a transition back to walking in faith trusting that the Lord will provide for us no matter what that looks like. It might not always look like what we want it to look like, but he has never failed before. He will never fail us in the future. And continuing to do what we need to do to be good stewards of all the resources that he has given us, our land, our animals, our finances, and this business. Um, and so just know that if you go into the shop and you see some prices that are lower than what you paid, and even if it's lower than like my lowest price of the year, which I'm going to try not to, I don't know if I'm going to go lower than that on anything. I don't want to have lied about that being the lowest price of the year, which is kind of why I'm sharing so much context for this. Um, I don't want people to say, she said that was the lowest price of the year and now it's not. Now it's $5 cheaper than that. And she just did that to make us buy it then and this girl deceives people and you know all that kind of stuff and and so like I try never in my marketing to compel people to do anything that they don't want to do and I don't want to make anybody feel like they got gypped or cheated or whatever um so we recently added 500 points again to everyone's rewards so if you're not familiar with our rewards you just go to shop dental classical and look down in that right hand bottom of your screen and there's a little green gift and you log into that with your same shop dental classical login information um, and you'll see your points and so we added 500 points everybody got 500 points for signing up in the first place if you've bought things from us meaning like you've downloaded a free teacher guide or made a purchase but when you were checking out you didn't create an account you can still do that and you still have the points waiting on you you just when you click that little green gift that's always down there at the bottom right hand side, you do create an account, 
put in the same email that you've made your purchases with, so all your purchases are there, and you're gonna receive credit for past purchases um, that happened after we started the little Smile Rewards program, um, and then you can see the 500 we gave the other day, you'll get 500 for signing up. And so 500 points is $5 off, 1,000 points is $10 off, everything you spend, every $3 gives you another point, you can get points for your birthday, there's all kind of stuff to add coupon codes on top. And so we're doing this sale without using a coupon code. I'm manually adjusting all the prices down so that you can go in and use your reward points coupon codes on the sale. But you can only use one coupon code. So you can't use like the Mission 15 code and uh, the, you know, the rewards coupon codes. So just, just know that we're trying our best to have integrity about our marketing, but also follow the Lord's promptings and reflect on how we can serve our community, how we can make our products more affordable, more accessible, more enjoyable to everyone, and always just like be an open book so that you guys know that like where our heart is, even when our hearts are stumbling and we're kind of messing up, we're just going to be honest with you about that. And so I hope that, you know, if we see prices that if you see a lower price than what you paid, you won't be upset about it. Just know that we've given some coupon codes and stuff to try to offset um, any frustration that you may feel that can be applied to a future point, future purpose, per purchase, that word, purchase, um, and that you'll give us grace for kind of figuring everything out as we're going along and trying to take care of our family and provide for our family while also there's the dirt bike, providing for our community and, and doing what we feel like God's calling us to do. So if you have any questions, we're always happy to answer it. Um, I just hope that you'll hear our hearts and that these lower prices will be a blessing to you and your family. And um, just make sure, I don't know how, I don't know if they're going to end at the end of July. We're just going to keep praying about what we need to do and move from there. So um, we appreciate your grace and all of your encouragement and your faithfulness and your sharing and your enthusiasm and all of the things you guys bless us with on just a daily basis. Thank you so, so much for being here and walking with us through our growth and, and all of it. We just love you all so much. And um, again, always reach out anytime you have any questions, okay?